What's up guys, my name is Chris Kane and welcome to Let's Play Ghostscape 3D. Uh, this is a game created by the same uh, people who made uh, the Killer Escape games, which are really good games. Uh, I, I like I like these I like when these guys make games, uh, Panasonic games, but uh, Ghostscape, I haven't played the other Ghostscape games, but this is supposed to be a really scary game, so let's fucking do it. Yeah, same uh, like, like Killer Escape 3, same like Arrow, everything else. The story so far. A letter arrived in the post recently from an old colleague. Not a friend, more of an acquaintance. He was a reporter who was specialized in disproving the occult. He often claimed that the sci that, that science w could answer every question he could you could ever ask. In his column, he had often tried to ridicule you for your beliefs in the paranormal and claimed that you were more than a little bit crazy. However, the letter contained a strange invitation to visit something of the likes of which you have never seen before, and never will again. You simply had to meet him and his colleague there. They were fantastic. Uh, suspecting a publicity stunt designed to embarrass you further, you still decided to go and see what all the fuss was about. The letter detailed a location and gave you specific requirements to come alone. What an idiot. What a mansion! No, what a creepy house. Uh, well, tombstones in the front yard. This place is surrounded by the dead. This house looks run down and abandoned. All right. So I just wanted to check this game out just a little bit. And one thing I did notice. Uh, first of all, closer look. Oh. Oh. I didn't see this. Okay. Yeah, there are little pentagrams around the house. His plants look dead. Ugly little plants. But yeah, no, uh, off screen I did find this one by myself, but obviously there's way more. So yeah, with this game being 3D, probably some jump scares. Most likely. Look closer at the door. This looks locked. Shit is locked. Okay. I guess, yeah, the only way to open it was to hit those switches, which I have already done, so... <laughs> the fuck? Bats? Really? Really, game? Oh god, inventory? Wait. I for inventory? Or no, hit this for inventory. Uh, investigate this. I don't really care about game time. Uh, we have a camera. Old tape recorder lets you play things. Okay. What the hell was that? Blood stains. Nice, 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 nice. So this should be fun. Old dirty rugs. We moved it. New, uh, a scribbled note. Uh, let's see. If you're reading this, then you have already, you may already be too late for you. An evil entity lurks within the place. It is uh, it is quite literally relentless. It will not stop until it's consumed and controlled you. I suffer horrendous visions. I hear things. Uh, they're blackouts. Uh, some semi-conscious memories of terrible things I have done. You will suffer the same fate. I'm trying to look at the rest of this. They look like they might be hints. Two things. Like time. Two o'clock. Or two, all it says, but fuck it. Uh, footprints. Closer look over where? Look at this. Yeah, on the... No fresh blood. Is it, why is it fresh? I don't understand. Uh, but yeah, the time here, it says... It says 9.30, but there's a 2 here. Alright, well, I, I, the hands are on 9.30, so let's... Uh, yeah, so here, and then... Right toe! A wooden barrel, you've moved the barrel. Okay. Did that unlock anything? I don't want to go back. I moved a barrel, right? Uh, whoa, whoa, what does that say? Key behind the glass. How come? Didn't I do it? 
Sorry, guys. I just want to make sure I got this right. Hey, little hand, big hand. Okay. So I guess I screwed that up somehow, despite doing it correctly. I want that key. I've earned it. What the hell is that? Those little orbs. You know what they say about paranormal? They love orbs. They love doing the orb shit. Um, something tells me... Okay, first of all, the fucking frame rate's going down again. Fuck. Look under the stairs, perhaps. Whoa. Okay. Oh no, more switches. Yeah, I can hit these back here, but I don't know any sequence or anything, so fuck them for now. Uh, there, uh, there appears to be nothing. Just bloody footprints, nothing else. Nothing more. Look inside what? Oh. I took a picture of something and something moved. <laughs> what kind of what kind of shit is this? I don't know why I'm talking like this. Ooh, it's a spear. A sphere. There's Cthulhu on the wall. Obviously this is whoops. This is obviously for something. Whoops. Uh but we don't know yet. Aha! Uh, but there are eight switches. This is only four. We can go upstairs. For Whoa, fuck. So far, nothing that scary. This place freaks me out. Audio tape. Nice. This place is creepy as hell, man. Can't move the box. That's fine. I don't see it. Okay, things are just moving by themselves. And more orbs. So, you know, like like I said, ooh. Interesting. Took in more ectoplasmic stuff. A valve. Uh-oh. I'm ready for my. I'm, I'm ready to take the picture. <laughs> oh my god, a hanging body. I took more pictures. It's a trick. It's, that's very uh, different than saying. <laughs> How the hell did I do that? That's different from saying, like, it's a trap. I'll give it that. That is pretty good. Um. Ooh. Oh, God. It's a fucking padlock. Shit. But, yeah, no. That had so much build up, you knew something was coming. Oh, I didn't go in here yet. I took another ectoplasmic whatever. Found a rusty key. That comes in handy. Anything by the windows? Anything at all? Obsidian. Good. What is that? Oh no, another jump scare. I'm so ready for it. This is, makes no sense. Or am I? I got a piece of paper. Okay, let's look at the paper. Um, the Great Plague, Fires of London, year 21666, maybe that's the padlock, I don't know, I write these notes in the small moments of clarity that I'm able to catch in between the horrors I suffer and the constant manipulation, and I am sorry I invited you here, but I must, un you must understand that I have never meant to hurt you, uh, it tells me about the year 1666 and how it is Relish the pain and suffering from the Great Plague of London. So many souls, blah, 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 blah. Interesting. 
one six six six. Sounds like a padlock. Oh, what's this? Look at this door. Okay, wait. One. Wait, I don't have my camera out for some reason. Oh, because I looked at the thing. Can I play these? This sounds very strange. Weird noises, fluctuations in temperature, strange smells. And there's no sign of Frank. But I do keep hearing whispers. Maybe it's just the wind. There are strange old locks on many of the doors. Some are mechanical. Seem to be opened by a cog shaped key. It's quite run down, and I'm surprised the old place hasn't collapsed by now. Not quite sure what's holding it together. There are also strange antiques, like a clock that doesn't work, but still allows you to set the time. It looks like there's something shiny locked within it. Some rooms possess puzzle like switches on the walls. I assume these open secret passages or uncover unseen alcoves or something. My colleagues will be joining me in a few days. Hopefully we can explore this place in more depth when they arrive. I don't like being here on my own. There's no sign of my colleagues as yet. Last night I barely slept a wink due to being disturbed by all the weird happenings in this place. Oh, I thought I might be able to listen to the tape at the same time as, as progressing. My bad. I love how he calls it strange orbs or strange little lights. Uh, yeah, you're a paranormal investigator. How do you not know? Oh, that didn't do anything. Shit. How'd that not do anything? He already took the samples. Shit. I thought that would definitely be it, but I guess not. Box is locked. What about uh, this key here? Got it. Oh, it's empty. That's bullshit. Do I still have the key? I do, but... I can't believe that. There has... Wait, hold on. Now, there has to be something about that box. Maybe if I take a picture of it? No. No. That's so weird about this thing. Yeah, there must be more to this place. Alright, let me go back. Is there other boxes we can open? This place is freaking me out, man. Oh, another... S oh, okay. Alright, so up, down, up, down. And the other switch was... Yeah, up. Up, down, up, down. And then what was the other one back here? Uh, yeah. Up, up, down, down. Right, yeah, so... Whoops. Up, up, down, down. No, up, 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 down, down. Right, yeah, there we go, okay. I moving the barrel does nothing. Whoa! It's a weird old book. If you're reading this, I'm afraid it's already too late for you. I'm sorry, your fate is terrible. Although this said OMG, for certain, as a believer in occultist, blah blah blah. Give me the code. Strongly that needs you. Uh, this real world, long enough. Very negative, man. I 
Dude, this could be weird. There's Omek right there. Are you next? Who knows? What do we got in here? Nothing. Bunch of dusty old books. Open fridge. I got a diamond. And there's a decapitated head that I could squeeze. I'm getting all these uh, different like rocks and shapes and stuff like that. Mm, Obsidian square four. Interesting. Uh, hold on, I still want my camera out. That's like the best thing for us right now. What's going on here? Cog shaped key. Moving barrels seems the game really likes it when I move barrels. Up to the left. What do we got? Is that moving? Huh. Anyway. Yeah, of course we can't open that. We don't have this key that, like, I believe the clock has, but we can't do anything about that. It's weird. So I guess we'll leave. We need a valve. Or a valve handle? I don't know. Is that why he's freaking out? Okay. What the hell? That fell down a, f a level. I don't know how that happened. Uh, I must... There must be some other... Clue that I missed. You had to put in three different times for it to work. I'm assuming, but because we can just kind of spam the clock, it's actually kind of easy to figure this out. Because eventually we're going to hit one of the puzzle uh, solvers. But yeah, no wonder. We had to hit the first key uh, time, and then 930 was the second, so that explains the two. Yeah, but we... We can actually brute force that, so that's funny. Uh, it's a cog key. Fantastic. Oh wait, oh, this is when we have another box here. This is actually kind of fun. I like this. So this is the key that opens all boxes. That's what it seems like. So we have a new obsidian sphere. Doesn't appear to be a puzzle item. I thought maybe so, but I guess not. Um, let's let's check out this. Enter the dining room. Let's get the camera out. Fuck. Come on, get the camera out. What do we got? What we got? We got. Get move more barrels. The game loves it when we move barrels. Nothing. Yeah, it just it gets hype every time we do that. Dest what? What would he say? Oh, look at the strange fireplace. Another obsidian square. Can we move the rug? Yes, we can. Hit another switch. So far, not a lot of jump scares. I don't know what the game was talking about. It's a little misleading. That's moving. That chair looked like it was moving. Maybe I'm going nuts. Look at that thing. Yeah, the chair moved. Heavy books. Has to be more to this place. I guess it was just to hit switches. I don't see any other switches. Oh well. Yeah, hype. Alright, let's go through the other door that needed... Oh, my flashlight's flickering. That's not good. Uh, it was over here. Cork shaped key. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I missed the jump scare because I went to get my camera. Oh, that's not good. Human body. Let's check out the place. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's something that fits here. 
Okay. I did a thing. Oh god, hold on. Looks like something fits here. Uh it's not the spheres, is it? No. Can't be. Uh we can't explore the rest of the area? I guess not. We can't move that barrel, the game loves it. Oh, yeah, we can. We can go over here. I think we need like a wrench actually for that. There are five valves left to do. I can't open this. It's still hot. Look over there. Found another audio tape. Is there any books we can move? Oh, we found another crystal. Another weird painting. All these bugs in the in my eyes? Or they're all spiders. Yeah, this is puzzling me right now because like something fits here. What looks like it'll fit there? I guess we don't have it yet. Uh, let's explore upstairs. Smelly old rug. I don't know if I hit all the switches. Is that what this thing needs? I think it needs... Yeah, it needs more switches and an item of some sort. I don't know. All right. Uh, let's explore a little more upstairs now that we have the cog key. Keep my eyes peeled. Hold on. This box is locked. Kind of hidden from me. not able to do anything about it. Okay. No, I can't get that box. Okay, never mind. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Keep out keep your eyes peeled for cog keys if you're or er, uh keyholes in the comments. Do that. <laughs> Anybody in here? Okay. But yeah, no, I think we need like a wrench or something. Oh. Oh no, we already looked at this. Or did we? Orb dissipated. Oh. Did I not look at this? It's a weird old book. I have hidden elements lie relentless around in the house during the moments. I feel myself find them. Crystals. Place them in this. Place them in the cellar. This ritual will banish the relentless spirits. Do this again. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, let's go back. Yeah, I guess there are some things I did miss. So that sucks. But it's all right. We'll we'll figure it out. Don't be negative. Slowly losing my sanity and self control. This thing is drilling into my mind. It is trying to make me send a letter to a friend of mine. An invite. A ghost hunter. Different to me, though. Already a believer in such things. Not a skeptic. He wants someone with the urge to believe. Something about making it easier to transition into the body. What the hell does that mean? Oh shit. Oh, so he he just kind of gave up. That's what I get from that shit. That's fucked up. All right, let's get the camera back out. But yeah, I I don't understand what I'm missing there, but let's just look around a little more. Huh. 
So just like the uh, the clock, we have to put in multiple codes, but I don't remember seeing them, unfortunately. Now, is, is this one one? One six, okay. And I have to somehow find the other code. I uh, don't know what it could be. It's not one of those. Oh. I don't get it. But I'm getting there somehow. I don't know how I'm doing it. Okay. So I obviously missed a bunch of notes. But the only thing that matters is we made it. Look that way. Hold on, let me get some pictures first. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. Oh, mech. <laughs> I don't get that part. Like, let's move these barrels out of the way. I got a orb. It's a monkey skull. You know, like I said, a game that says it's supposed to be super scary, and like, yeah, this game, you're in a creepy attic. I get it, but other than that, oh, there's no escape. He says. Well, shit. Does that have writing on it? What's that? Another audio tape, and that box is locked. So let's just go ahead and open it then. It's empty. Damn it. Another diamond. Was there anything else? Was there a switch? Or something. Look over here. Ooh. There we go. New stuff. Yeah. An old spanner? Oh, it's the wrench. Okay, and we have to hit the valves. Good, good, good. Did we go in there? Yeah, we did. Okay. Go back. Look over here. Turn around. Same stuff we saw before. Okay, so now that we have the old spanner, I'm going to go back and find more valves. Wherever they're at. Yeah, one's in here. And let's see. Yep, there's, there's a valve there. I think we just have the spanner out. I think it's safe to assume that we just have it out the entire time. Um, but yeah, so far we're solving it. Now over here... Make sure I don't miss anything. My flashlight is a piece of shit. Not great. Well, it has to be way more. I think the thing said five. Yeah, it says right here there are two two more to do, uh, but we have the one here. God, now we have to find the elusive last valve. Oh, I missed this box somehow. What we got in here a moldy old note. I think it's this one. Holy crap! Wait a minute. One equals. 11348. I think that's something to do with the attic. Yeah, open the attic. There's the other time. Yeah, a lot of finding a lot of these notes did it, but unfortunately some of these puzzles you could kind of brute force it. So I don't think we have to worry about reading that one. Uh unfortunately. But it's alright. Yeah, but I can't open this box. The game won't let me. That sucks. Oh, is this where you find the old piece of pa other piece of paper? I think it is. Whoops. There's no sign of my colleagues as yet. Last night I barely slept a wink due to being disturbed by all the weird happenings in this place. You do need all the spheres and all the crystals. That said, I've seen some very odd things in my short time here. 
We just need two more crystals. That's what they're saying. But like, there's this box here. Oh, it, oh, okay. Wow. Thanks, game. Because, like, I have to unlock this somehow. Yes, what we needed. Alright, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Whoops. Look under the table. Oh. Huh? What just happened? I didn't open anything over here. I guess it just... What the fuck? Alright, anyway. Uh, known as the Relentless, it never dies, it never stops. Uh, it feeds on human suffering. I am writing this in my blood. I warn you to get out of barrels. Place down Relentless. It sucks. It really sucks over here. Don't be tricked. Did I take a picture of him? I don't know what I was looking at when I did that, but I'm missing one more gem. And, like... Yeah, I didn't get that yet. I got the book. I'm next. Spirits have released. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to find this other valve still. Oh my god, it's right here. Uh, a pentagon stone? Cool. Uh, but I'm missing the one final thing, though. That sucks. Yeah, the pen it was right there this whole time. Alright then, let's, let's at least get this started. Something's still missing. Uh, I need the crystals, don't I? Yep. I'm missing one more crystal, that's the thing. Ah. What? How did I do that? Okay, yeah, I can put that there. Uh, hold on a second. Move over there. And that one over there. Alrighty then. Yeah, I... <laughs> What? I didn't... Oh, shit. Did I just... I didn't have that many crystals. I had four. Anyway, that was weird. I guess we'll move forward then. Do you want to go any further? Hell yeah. Enter the darkness. Oh, here we go. I don't know what the fuck happened there, but... Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> okay. Uh, collect all the items to see the epilogue. Oh, shit. I found a lot of stuff. Oh, God. Alright, well... Wait, six of... 10 orbs dispersed. Yeah, oh god, that that game was fun, but I didn't get the actual ending, but I, I feel like I've searched that place pretty thoroughly. I don't know what happened at the end there. I didn't have enough gems, but it, it still ended up that way anyway. But yeah, if you guys want to try this game out yourself, link's in the description. It's on Game Shed. It's pretty cool. Um, like I said, I really like these point-and-click games that especially this uh, developer makes. And uh, But other than that, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.